Radio experience in Las Vegas. PHLV Radio. PHLV Radio. Hello, good evening. It's Friday night. Hi. And in Los Angeles, if you're watching from the Pacific, it is 9 11 on a beautiful, kind of chilly Saturday evening. And oh, Friday evening. <laughs> and if you're watching from different parts of the world, especially like if you're watching from the Philippines, it is Saturday. At uh, 12, 11 noon uh, in the afternoon. So good, good afternoon to everybody. And you're watching in different parts of the world, depending on where you are on any time zone. It is good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I know for the Christian world and the Catholic world, it is Good Friday. So um, the, at the end of the day, just be good. And, and hopefully you're having a wonderful time with your family, being that uh, this is a good Friday for the Christian Catholic world, for our brothers and sisters. We are live on PHLB Radio Facebook page and simultaneously live on PHLB Radio YouTube channel. So if you're not a subscriber yet, Feel free to subscribe, like, and share so you won't miss any of our shows. And we're also, if you are using Amazon Fire TV, all you have to do is look for uh, PHLB Radio Channel. And if you are one of those techie people that you're using Alexa, all you have to do is say, Alexa, play PHLB Radio. And also, we are live on different podcasts or pl uh, platforms or audio platforms, namely Apple Podcasts. Oh iHeartRadio, uh, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. And if you miss any of the shows, just as always, you can always look for us on our different playlist on PHLB Radio YouTube channel, or you can check our website at www.phlbradio.com. So tonight, it's very special because we have a very multifaceted, multi-instrumentalist, polyglot, and everything that you could imagine for a, a very young, talented young lady. And you would see and you would know, and it's going to be up close and personal. She she was awarded and the winner of the Rumi Awards in 2015 as the best artist Europe and the best singer duet. Aside from that, and this is so exciting because if you are familiar with the Latin superstar Juanes, she was handpicked. Imagine handpicked from from uh, by MTV Trust and, and to do a a song with none other than the superstar Juanes in Unplugged album that won also the Grammy, a Latin Grammy. So be, without much further ado, she is the multi-awarded and I, I can't wait to introduce her to the world. She's very popular in the LA scene and she's having a show tomorrow, which we'll talk about in a minute, but we'll get to know her up close and personal, none other than 
our special special guest for tonight it's emila emila how are you from los angeles hi josh nice to meet you nice to see you i'm great how are you wonderful see emila is born and raised in italy so tell us about that when did you come to the united states and what made you decide to to try it on here in in, in, uh, in the u.s yeah so i came here uh, in the united states it, uh, it was about uh, 2007 and then uh, i went to musicians institute that's where i graduated music where i'm currently also teaching and that's how I started uh, my music career, really. Actually, I started a little bit in Italy when I was younger. But when I moved here, I, you know, continued. And that's where, you know, it became, like, bigger. You know, it exploded a little bit more. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's how everything started, from Italy to, to L.A. Now, what, where, what part of Italy do you go to? Italy is one of the countries that I am so in love with. I love Venice, and I love Rome, and I love Florence. I love Milan. I love everything that is Italian. So... I mean, what part of Italy were you from? I'm from San Remo, and uh, I was born and raised uh, in, in uh, San Remo and also in Rome. So San Remo is a small city in the north of Italy, which is, um, let's say, close to France, about 30 minutes away from Nice. And uh, yeah. I was born there. And then also my first part of my youth was in Rome, and then I moved back to San Remo. So it was between these two cities. Now, your singing career, you said you started very young. Who are your influences? I mean, did you get your talent from mom and dad, or are you the only one? Uh, talk about your childhood. Yes. Um, so my mom's brother, my aunt, uh, is a singer. He sings mostly, like, classical music, more, you know, like in Italy, singing like those really, like, it's called chamber music. And he's also an excellent piano player. And uh, my mom's, uh, on, from my mom's side, and also my mom's mom, which is my grandma, she used to play the piano a little bit. So I would say mostly from my mom's side. But my, mom, my dad, too, was very musical. Uh, he loved music. And so I, I can say probably from both of my parents. Wow. Are you from a big family? Do you have a lot of siblings? How many siblings do you have? Or You're not the only child, though, right? Uh, no, I have a younger sister. Because there's only two of you in the family. Correct. Yeah, she's the younger, and I'm the old. I'm the big one. I'm <laughs> the big sister. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's still in Italy, though, right? She is. Yes, she's still. So, she's are you the only one here in in the U.S.? Yes, I'm the only one, and I moved by myself. Uh, yeah, when I moved, it was I'm so the only one in the family. <laughs> how was that? Especially, we have listeners and viewers who are uh, thinking of moving, leaving their, mm -hmm. their home country and moving. Oh, how, was, wow. how was the experience? Because being a, a lady and being coming from another country, moving into the United States, which is really mm -hmm. the, big, mm -hmm. the big playground for artists. Yeah. How was mm -hmm. that? And what made you decide to do that, though? And yeah, so uh, first it was mostly for music because um, actually it was only for the music. <laughs> and uh, I kind of felt since I was very young, uh, that California was a name that would uh, make me feel like freedom and uh, newness and change and something beautiful to explore. Every time I would hear that name, you know, California, that word, it would give me so much chills for some reason. Um, so, yeah, and then that's how I, I would just got inspired and I seen all of these, you know, these artists that came from the United States, most of the music that I loved from, uh, you know, Aretha Franklin and uh, one of, you know, most of them, they you know, coming from, uh, they are from the United States, but also from the UK, honestly, like Joss yeah. Stone, uh, Tracy Chapman, I think she's American, right? Yes. Most of them were, you know, from, you know, either from UK or, or from uh, the United States. So that's how I got inspired. And the most, the music that inspired me the most was the R&B music and pop rock. And uh, it mostly was in English. So that's how I very early understood that that's it's really what resonates with uh, with me as a as a style, and also the uh, English language. How when I was writing even the first song that I wrote when I was very young, um, it was in English. It was just naturally in English. I also wrote a lot of it in, in Italian, but for some reason there was just so much that I was inspired from you know from the United States and from all English American songs. Well, one of the things that is so inspiring about you when I was doing the research and doing uh, researching you on different social platforms, 
oh my God, you had so much talent. And we oh. were to offer some of them. You dance really well, you do your own choreography, and then you do um you do you teach how to play people how to play ukulele. <laughs> And then oh. the guitar Thank you. with long, Thank you. long finger and nails. I know you're, 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 I'm scaring you now because I really oh, kind of followed everything and watched it for a week. And then you, you could sing Italian, mm. of course. And of course, you did some Spanish. What is there anything? Oh, that you play piano. Unbelievable. I mean, what else can you not do? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that's thank why when I, was talking, when I was talking to the station that I'm going to guest you, I said, I don't know how to describe it. She said, all the talents that I could possibly think of. And she even, and you even do be, uh, uh, beat, box beat, beat. Box. beat, beat box. box. So unbelievable. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I have that as a sample. But before we go that, uh, let me, everybody is waiting. I have, I have, gazillions of people here on my phone. I have three phones going uh -huh. on and they're all saying is, are we gonna hear her sing? Yes, as a matter of fact, we're gonna move to her now to a performance that she prepared for us and uh, introduced why this particular song, what inspires you to do mm -hmm. this particular number tonight and is there any significance of this and the mm -hmm. title and is this a cover mm -hmm. or an original? Yes. Uh, well, the first one, uh, it's an original, and uh, this song that I wrote a, a few years ago uh, with the guitar. Or play, actually, it started when I composed it was with the piano, but um, and then it just just transformed into the guitar. Um, it's called Butterflies, and basically, yeah. it's just when uh, you know, like when you were feeling those butterflies, pretty much that once few times in our lives might go through that phase, you know. Okay, and uh, we can't wait to. <laughs> So, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, without much further ado, the beautiful, the multifaceted, and talented Emila. Thank you. Can't stop things, I feel sick 
I can't eat, I can't breathe, can't stop the news. I feel sad, I can't eat, I can't breathe. Someone hurt me. Oh, can someone help me? No, can someone? Help me. Wow, beautiful. That's why I was going through, through your bios and all that. And you are a finalist at the John Lennon Writing Contest. It's amazing. And also, with uh, you wrote Esperanza de Amor. Yes. Uh, I guess Esperanza de Amor is uh, Esperanza My Love, right? And Correct. you were also nominated by the Hollywood Music in Media Awards mm -hmm. for the best R and B song category with another song called "Stay with Me." Stay with me, yes. So accomplished, mm -hmm. and the finalist in the USA songwriting competition with her your song "La Que Se De Regresa." Oh, regresa. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah, so amazing. And on top of that, you I I I'm so amazed and we're gonna show that. <laughs> you can play piano like no one can. Yo, no. can we show that? <laughs> I know she will be amazed. <laughs> yeah, we have some surprise. You. You, you play this piano. We'll just do a snippet of it. Oh. It's a classical that uh, you did. It's just mm -hmm. amazing. Is there anything else you can do? Oh, the also sing in French. I know. <laughs> and in uh, Korean too. I sing oh, a that, few songs that in I didn't Korean. See the Korean, but the French we have that on tape as well. So oh. uh, for our listening and viewing public, let's see if you was able to Because, like, I think it's it's it is a disgrace not to hear how she plays. <laughs> but I have to play it so many times to make sure it's not. You know how it is. Like sometimes you go to a mall, then people pretend to be playing, and it's really oh. recorded. Yours was amazing. <laughs> you took some formal lessons Thank in that. It's like classical music. Oh, I, that's how I started. Actually, that's how I started uh, music uh, when I was uh, seven years yeah. old. I, I actually started with the classical piano. Since oh. I was seven, yeah, that's how I learned when I was little. That's that was my first music, like my first impact with music. Actually, that's how yeah, so I, you, it all started. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You are a multi instrumentalist. Mm -hmm. So what what instruments do you play? Okay, let me let me name on the research that I did. <laughs> you do the piano, the piano, piano yeah, yeah. player. You yeah. do the guitar, guitar, you, yeah, you you do, of guitar. You do the ukulele, mm -hmm. ukulele, yeah. What ukulele else? and then uh, piano, guitar, ukulele, beatbox. Yeah, these four, and then sing, and then of course I write songs. <laughs> beatbox is the track. So what I like about the beatbox, it's just really creating those uh, those drums. It's pretty, that's my drums, right? You know the beatbox when you create a rhythm like a. Right, so that you can create a track, and then you can also loop the track. So this is what you can do. So what I do on my live shows, you probably saw some beatbox looping, like in the song yes. Butterflies. And so what I do, I create the trap, the track to make it a little upbeat. And then on top, I create and add more layers. Can be like a bass with my voice and no guitar, some background vocals, and then I sing on it. So I really like to do this kind of compositions, especially for live shows. Okay, so for live shows, you don't have to have a full band all the time. Yeah, then you know I saw I mean? you with group of people though. It's the LA beatbox group. I yeah, saw. I created. Yeah, yeah, that's how I put that together. I create. I basically. Uh, called uh, all of the beatboxers in uh, around around LA, yeah. um, and then I that's how I formed the LA beatbox community. So then now we, we do shows, we do like performances sometimes together. They also created their own groups, um, and most of them met through the LA beatbox community. Actually, you know, we do jams every month or almost every month, and it's just very cool. It's just very cool. Like beatbox is a it's a very powerful music tool i i believe i really believe in big box i i, I notice you are so passionate in everything that you do because you're everywhere i mean you 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 perform in different places and and and, and 
all over I think all over California you you, you do perform and, and yeah but also in New York I was in New York uh, last year uh, Miami as well uh, I go also different north, north northern California I was close to San Francisco as well last year Las Vegas I was in Las Vegas two two weeks ago and I'm actually gonna be in Las Vegas also uh, in, in, in the next couple of weeks or next week yeah, uh, two different and, places in, in Las Vegas. Yeah, and then later we're going to talk about uh, the social media platforms that you have, so they could follow you. Especially, I have people here so, <laughs> saying she is so beautiful. Oh my so gosh, oozing with talent. Yeah, yeah. You're, making, you're making me. You're making me blush now. But it's true <laughs> though, because these are comments <laughs> coming from from our viewing public and listeners. Okay, yeah. then let's say hello to Alexander Francisco, who's watching from the mm. Philippines. So is Sandra Francisco. Oh, Christine Elsworth or Christine O'Malley is watching, as well as mom, Hi. Daisy O'Malley. Hello, happy viewing to you. And Christine said good evening and hello. I think you're, she's one Hi. of your your um, uh, co-talents tomorrow for, for your event. Oh, which we'll talk I'm about. excited to meet you. I'm so excited. Well, you, you guys have not seen each other. I mean, oh, we guys... never met each other. No, we never did. I want to see the comments. Where can I see the live comments? Oh, like on the chat room? On the on the like when at the bottom, but if you go on the PHLB radio, it will be all the comments in there. And oh some, some are some of the 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 more personal are on my my own personal here. They said, "Is she available?" <laughs> oh, these are the ones that you don't want to see. PHLB. Well, I want to see that like that. PHLB dot com. Yeah, no PHLB radio. LV Radio. Okay, because yeah. I want to read them too. Like, I can want to yeah. read the comments so you can say and hello everything. To them too. Yeah. Or uh, remember, yeah. I sent you the the link. All you have to do is click on that link on the on our ad, the one that we posted with your video. If you click on that, automatically you will be, uh, you will be uh, in, entering to the PHLB Radio. Oh, yeah. is it the one on face? Oh, the one on on your face, the one you shared on Facebook. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Click if on that. Click that automatically, you you'll see you see our our show live. And like what I said, after the show, I'll give you a copy of it. And all, it's like watching it live for the second, third, fourth time. And you could do as many repeats as well as you could share that. So oh, okay. one yeah. of the yeah. things, too, that is so interesting about you is you are a dancer and you're a choreographer. I mean, where did that come from? I mean, was that because some are some are so sexy. Oh, this, uh, some of the... Some of the, the sorry, I'm just still, I'm still trying to see where is it. I don't see. Oh, I clicked on the live video. Okay, that's the one. Okay, okay. Now yeah, I now see, you it. see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. But where is the comment? Okay. Oh, the comment. And then let's show. Let's okay. show. Uh, the uh, Anali Valentina. Hello from the Philippines. She said, I know her since the collab with my Seipan Jean Shinosaki called Endgame. Uh, oh yeah, Endgame. Yeah, we did a collaboration together, me and and and, uh, and Jeanette. Uh, Jean, I call him Jeanne. And we did. That's how I actually met. Uh, that's how I, I got to get to know beatbox because he's a beatboxer. And that's how, how really I got to know uh, to what beatbox is and everything. We did a collaboration, me and Jeanne Shinozaki. She's uh, yeah. Japanese and American. And we did this collab together where he was beatboxing and I was singing. So that was really fun. And Danny knows us uh, from uh, mostly from there. That's how probably she she met me as a as an artist. Well, and she you mentioned that you you perform in Northern California, in Las Ve in Nevada, mm -hmm. and in in other places. What you missed is you perform across the globe, all over the world, and been featured in TV shows, in different networks such as Univision, uh, uh, MTV Tres, Telemundo, CNN Español, I mean, among others. I mean, it's it's just for such a young lady with all this accomplishment. Oh, and then, then uh, uh, Deani Valentina said, yeah, Jean or Jean. <laughs> yeah, what? Jean. Well, she has this thing like, okay, you mentioned about Jean uh, mm -hmm. Shinozaki, and she mentioned also the way you pronounced it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jeanne. I guess they say Jeanne. Jeanne. Yeah, but I don't, yeah. see, I, don't, I, only, I don't see the new comments. I only see, I only, I, that's the one on, on Facebook, right? No. Yeah, on oh. Facebook, you'll see it at the bottom. It, it's, uh, oh. it's a chat box. Oh yeah, I just see the one that says I know her. Oh yeah, the collab yeah, with the uh, yeah, Shinozaki. But I don't see the other. They entered the chat room and they make comments and we'll see that. Mm -hmm. Where is the chat room? It's it's right at the bottom. Like oh, at the bottom. Yeah. 
And now she's laughing at you. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see anything. I only see the regular one. Like, no, I wish I knew where it is. Yeah, it's underneath. Like, if, you, if you're watching our show right now, like, uh -huh. if you're a, a viewer, underneath the, remember, you have the two boxes, you and I, and then underneath, there's a chat, chat room in there. In the same page. Oh, in the same page. Yeah. Okay. 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 No, mine is no, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't see it. Let, I wish I could. Our, it, let's see if our video, because I want really to show how talented you are and the, the skills that you have and, okay. and some of the things that you've done. And it's amazing because when I was doing this, I said, oh my God, Imala could do so many of this. Oh, the only thing you. I have not seen is you acting or something. I didn't see any any video on that. Thank you. Oh no! And then you asked me about you asked me about the dance, and then I got cut off, uh, yeah. taken from uh, from the thing. When you asked me something about my dance to the yes. choreography, yes. yeah, that was that started actually about here you go. We're years ago. It. Oh, that's me. Yes, I don't hear. I can hear anything. We can hear the music, but we can hear. Look at that. Those are, those are moves. You scared me to death. Oh, there you go. I'm wasting my breath because you only listen to your fucking I don't relate to you. I don't relate to you, no. Because I never treat me this shitty. You made me hate this city. And I don't talk shit. There's so much great, great music going there, and the flexibility is amazing. And this is just one of the sample of the other things you've done on the on the dance side. So is that something you pick up while you're here already in the U.S.? Thank you. Yes, uh, I started uh, I started dancing uh, when about three years ago, and that was just really part of uh, just me making me feel better about you know situations in life. It just really started with me trying to. Uh, just just get my power back getting out of uh, some situations with uh, with some people and it just really empowered me as a woman so much yeah, well, a lot yeah so, so uh, people who wants to see more of her dancing skills and and different choreography that that of other people as well as her own i will follow her i will tell you all her platform media that you could follow her youtube channel her facebook page and all that we'll mention that in a, in a minute but um and then let's show yo let's show also uh, i mean if you have that video on her killer piano <laughs> i'm so amazing <laughs> what it was one of my favorite uh, the classical music there you go oh il tempo non è cancellato queste mie ferite This is hello, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Puoi sentirmi <laughs> Sono in California ricordando quello che eravamo Così liberi Così Ho dimenticato i sentimenti Quello che ci unisce Così uguali, ma diversi, lontani ormai. Now, on the songs that you perform, because I know you, you have a variety of, of songs that you perform, how do you choose the one that you want to really to, to embody you? Is, that, is there a certain genre that you are most adhere, that you adhere to? Uh, well, uh, between the songs that I already wrote or mostly be between the covers that I choose? Yeah, between the covers that you choose. The covers, yeah. The covers just really something that just speaks to me. If it's something that really speaks to me uh, and I really can identify, then I really like to do it. I really don't like to sing songs that I don't like. So sometimes if someone asks me, can you sing this for my wedding and I don't like it, I would just say, oh, I'm sorry, I just don't feel this song. Or if it reminds me something about a very like old story that I had, it still hurts me. Say, so, you know, I'm sorry, this song is gonna... But if I can't, or, or I force myself and I do it, but I just always try not to sing songs that I don't like, because it's just like, <laughs> I have to do the songs that I like. So it, really songs that I would say probably like that um, speak to me most of the time. It has to be... Yeah, it has to be definitely songs that I really love, that speak something, and then something that narrates parts about my life, you know. 
Yeah, and, yeah. and singing yeah. really is a storytelling. Okay, as far as languages though, I know you speak Italian, mm -hmm. and you said you, 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 you sing in French also, of course you do English. Mm -hmm. And even your language, yeah. you're a polyglot. And a lot of people were texting me, what's a polyglot? Because it was oh, polyglot. a multi-language. I mean, person, mm -hmm. a person who could speak different languages. Not one or two, but several. Yes. yes. Polyglot means you can speak yeah. different languages. So I, uh, yeah. So I graduated actually from the University of uh, of Languages, uh, yeah. and uh, and I studied. Uh, you know, Russian was the main language that I graduated. Uh, it was Russian, uh, and then French, and then English. So those three. But I also studied German when I was in high school, and then uh, I know in Spanish I learned it here in the United States because uh, a lot of people speak Spanish. Especially in California. <laughs> Especially in California, yeah. So that's actually how that's that's how I learned Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so it's just you, very Yeah, you have that gift because not a lot of people can be can adapt to a certain language. It's, there's there's a certain thing. Among the things that you do instrument wise, which is your favorite? Instrument wise? Uh -huh. It's so hard. It's just it's very hard. But I would say probably guitar and piano are, are my favorite ones. Guitar and piano. Maybe, maybe I love I love piano because we're for the classical parts and for the romantic songs, and I love the guitar for more upbeat, but that really acoustic, really cool vibe. Yeah. And I, I would say guitar and piano together are the same thing. Maybe guitar. I don't know. I know maybe piano too. I don't know. But ukulele is is the second. I like a piano on the second. It's, I like the ukulele, but it's not as fulfilling as uh, the piano and the guitar. And of course, the singing. Singing is top number one. So I would say. Singing top, then uh, piano and guitar at the same level, uh -huh. then, beat then beatbox, and then ukulele. I would say that. Look, now, among these things that you've done, is there any other instrument you want to add on your list? Eventually, do you want to learn more about it? Um, I don't know. It's a very good question. Uh, there's a, maybe, I don't know, harp seems very interesting. <laughs> My sister liked harp, so she always wanted to learn harp. <laughs> Let's like just, or saxophone too. Amazing! With all the instruments <laughs> that you already played, it's amazing that you still have <laughs> and you still have an instrument you have in mind. Okay, Bayani said, uh, "Sana or oh, Sana, uh, everybody wants that." She said, "I want to be a sexy dancer like her." She said that, <laughs> and then she said, "I love Adele, and she loves you." Now, there's a personal question oh, here. Uh, this this gentleman said, "Is she open to open to to uh, uh, audition for different uh, contests like X Factor USA mm -hmm. and the the Voice and all that? Is that something that you are up to?" Absolutely, uh, I would love that. Actually, this year I'm gonna challenge myself to start doing that too because it's always fun. You know, when you win or lose it, it's, it's just the, the adrenaline or just going through those things. It yeah. just gives you so much adrenaline. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I so I think I I'm going to do that. I know Simon would love you. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you should, you should do it this year. So many, you should do it. Yeah, it's especially after the pandemic. Here and you have so much talent. I think the world needs to discover and, and, and reintroduce you again to the world because I think that would uh, not only it's good for, for your career, but also since you have the talent, it's better to share them and what better platform than to do all this competition. And like what you said, win or lose, it's a good experience. It's a good, it's, you know, the adrenaline rush is unbelievable. It really, really is. Yes, absolutely. Okay, here we go. Diane said on the, on the chat, sorry you're not seeing it. Me too. I'm a polyglot too. I can speak Actually, English. I see now. Oh, now you can see. She said, <laughs> I can speak English, Filipino, Tagalog, Cebuano, French, Japanese, and Korean. My hardest language is actually Japanese. I need si Senpai Jung to teach Japanese language. But you don't speak Japanese yet, right? I, I don't speak Japanese yet. <laughs> 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 now, they're asking, what is your next performance that you're going to do? Is it, a, is it a, a cover or is it an original? See, people are like texting me on my... Oh, say, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So the next one will be, yeah, I can do another original since you're, you know, you're here. Just one thing. 
Uh, yeah. I have 10%. I need to just plug real quick the, the, the charger for my phone. If you want to show the video with the piano one more time, the one yes. that before we could yeah, hear, you're so that I can quickly well, charge it. Yeah, yes. I want to get well, ready for that. Put, uh, let's see if you could come up with a yes. video while okay. she's preparing for her, for her next performance. Okay, okay. There's a couple Once of videos I've prepared for you. Yo, can you play some of the videos I send you? It's can be the piano, the classical piano the that classical we didn't have. Piano. The one that the one we couldn't see before. The one that I love. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, yo. Let's see. They're, they're, because I sent them like I think eleven videos of you. Playing a classical, and we're trying to get the audio going. Oh, there is audio. Okay. okay. Oh, there you go. What is me? And then uh, maybe you could show also while she's preparing. We could show also the one that she's she's uh, uh, playing with her long nails in a guitar. <laughs> And then she was telling people, this is how you do it when you have long nails. Right, super and long nails. nails. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I've never seen anybody I tune my guitar no in a way that a guitar, like a killer guitar. with only one or two fingers. And I named it Long Nail Special Tuning. <laughs> now I can finally play my shows with long, beautiful nails. I'm so happy. <laughs> I haven't watched that in a long time. <laughs> I told you, I have so much video. I really did the research on you. I was like having fun all that uploading all these videos. I said, oh my God, this, I mean, this is really amazing. So anyway, now she's prepared, ladies and gentlemen, she has this special song. <laughs> I think I embarrassed her. Because <laughs> I never, I haven't been watching the video in a very long time. It was like a while. <laughs> How about the guy? Oh, oh you, you have, you'll be more surprised. <laughs> Like a commercial okay. or something. That's so funny. <laughs> What's the title of this song? So this song, it's called Deepest Love. And so it's called Deepest Love. And basically it's the the um the single on my last album, which is uh called um No Freedom. So New Freedom is my last album. The one with all the colors and all and everything. And this is the song that is the, the first one, the first song. The one the one you in the in the desert yes. with all the bands and the one with the wrong, with the red veils and everything. So that's deepest love, but this is the acoustic version of okay, deepest love. Of deepest love. Yes. So there you go. Hope you enjoy it. So basically it's the song about it's basically when you're in a relationship that you love somebody so much, like very deep. But uh, you feel alone in the relationship because even though you really love this person and the other person might love you, but when there's no uh, might not be like a real connection, or the other person cannot that cannot love you how you need to be loved, or you cannot love that person how they need to be loved. Then you feel lonely inside, even though you love them. You know, wow. sometimes that happens, right? So that's why it's called deep, deepest love. Like it can be as deep as possible, but if it's not a love that is like compatible, then unfortunately, right. it's wow. not right. Yeah. Wow. So, so there you go. <clears throat> Hey. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. And you know, every word you say, long before you touch, 
Sticking in your eyes a precious sign That you need me just as much I give anything tonight for sure For this heart is safe to rest Oh yeah From my body to your soul I'll be sharing my deepest love But instead I'm all alone From my body to your soul I'm giving my deepest love But the dark is all I got In me In me Get you to my heart is love you, baby Every time you pull away Get you to my love you, whisper Begging you to stay You should know that I'm not the guy To back down as a man Oh, yeah From my body to your soul I'm sharing my deepest love But instead I'm all alone From my body to your soul I'm giving my deepest love For the dark is all I got In the head Oh, 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 oh In the Baby, hold on tight We're just wasting so much time You don't have to compromise Can you feel my deepest love? Take my heart, baby, hold on tight We're just wasting so much time Can you feel my, can you feel my Can you feel my deepest love? From my body to your soul I'm sharing my deepest love But inside I'm all alone From my body to your soul I'm giving my deepest love But the dark is all I got In me Oh, oh, in me Oh, oh, Wow, that's beautiful. No question. When you, when you do write a song, which one comes first? Is it the melody or the lyrics? Because I interview some, like, I interview some yeah. artists, and now it depends really on the mood. Like in your case, though, is it the lyrics first that comes first or the melody? It's a good question. So sometimes it's just together at the same time. It can be like a word together with a melody. For example, you're so special. I don't know. Just that just came up like that, right? Yeah. And, and then you just keep adding things, or or it can just be something like da 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 da. Da, 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 ah, ah, ah. And then together you can put like I can't feel my love I can't feel myself eh. I don't know, and then you add the, the words Can be either or Now I just create a little idea on the spot So it can be sometimes just melody And then you add it later Or one specific word or phrase together with the melody And then you just move forward from there No, I you know, was a composer, singer and all And everything else When, when you do, how, how long does it take you to compose a song? Usually, I would say most of the songs, especially the, the, the best ones, are really like on the spot. When yeah. that, the, if it's a feeling you want to talk about, and usually it's about maybe an hour or two hours. I really like to do that everything in one session. Some yeah. of them, uh, you might just do the hour, and then uh, you can just move forward through 
and then a day later, two days later, or a month later, you just add more stuff, and you just keep keeps getting better. So, is there one particular song that you composed that you're so in love with? Definitely, my favorite one is Butterflies. Yes. And uh, all the ones that I'm be good for me tonight are definitely my favorite ones. I would say, but usually. For some reason, I don't know why, but the, the newest one are always the favorite ones. Always when you when you buy a good a new pair of uh, of pants or a new pair of, uh, of shoes, for the, the new ones are always better, right? I don't know. <laughs> but for the song, but, it's the same. But your covers and your originals on your uh, uh, social media platforms they are beautiful songs, and I think we, this is the time where we tell people where to follow <laughs> you because some of my my my, my, my personal here they're asking me where tell us where can we follow her where we can we add where can we we uh, subscribe <laughs> okay let's start first with your youtube channel i i know you do have one youtube yes yeah. so the youtube channel is a youtube.com slash emaila emaila so e -A -Y -L -A. yes correct yes yeah, so it's a e -M -A -Y -L -A. and then uh, the instagram is uh, emaila official yes it will be emaila official and then uh, the other one, uh, of, okay, Facebook. Okay, let me now see your profile. Did you guys add it? I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys changed it to. Oh yeah, make sure you write on your on your profile this Emila official that you have to add the word official like when you're tagged, so that way you can tag me. Like you can find me when you tag me because the Emila that you tagged, it's not me. Yeah, that's kind <laughs> of. Because you tag somebody else. No, no, that's just you have. Make sure it's Emila. What's your picture though? Where? The Emila. Yeah, not that one. The other the other one, Emila, that uh, on the Facebook. It's your picture though. What does Oh no, no, this girl no, this is a different person. It's That's a me. different person. Well no, no, my her. yeah, yeah. Make sure you find me. Mine is uh Emila official. official. Uh, that's yeah. me, Emila Official. Yeah. And that's my Instagram, Emila Official. And then and uh and then and if you want to see a lot of her old performances and covers, go mm -hmm. to her YouTube channel and YouTube. subscribe. It's, uh, it's Absolutely. You could do a play all. It's just like, it's just easy to li listening. And it's just one song, original and covers in different languages. It, it's just, it's just so much fun. It's so interesting. And it's like, it's just knowing, getting to know her. If you don't know her yet, then you, what, once you play all those music, beautiful music that she created as well as she covers for other artists, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm at, at all for words and because I can't wait. And now, aside from her other performances that you'll be seeing later, she has a show that it's going to be tomorrow at mm -hmm. uh, Escondido, California, and it's the beautiful Grand Ritz uh, theater and let's talk about that a little bit so here you go yeah thank you uh, here it's a a broadway night to remember returns and she's one of the special artists who will be performing so now how did you get involved with this one because i am excited to see what yeah. she'll be performing firstly you don't have to reveal because it's a surprise if that's what you want it's a surprise yeah. yeah so how many how many broadway uh, songs are you playing tomorrow that's a surprise too. I can't reveal everything. <laughs> you have to be at the show in order to know. But I'm super excited. I was invited to be one of the performers by Carlos Mangonon, yeah. uh, also PDP from the Philippines. And then uh, I'm just super excited to you know be able to you know to share the stage in, with these other amazing, beautiful artists. And uh, and I, I can't wait. Uh, I'll be in Escondido tomorrow. It's going to be at the Grand Ritz Theater. The show is starting at six thirty. And uh, Josh, I cannot wait to to have you there too, because you will be there uh, too. Yeah, I will. I will drive just like you. I'll be driving two I'm hours excited. from LA. <laughs> I'm excited to see your performance, and I'm I, I'm so excited to see, uh, of course, uh, Melanie as well as um, uh, Umali, Christine as well as uh, Sean, and definitely you. I can't wait because I understand based on the past interviews I did for the other artists, there'll be some solo numbers and some production numbers as well, and. What way to, to celebrate yeah. a Broadway night to yeah. remember it. That is so exciting. Yeah, so uh, if you have not secured any tickets yet, I'm not sure yet if it's already sold out. 
and maybe Carlos, who's who's watching tonight, will be able to tell us. Uh, the tickets are seventy dollars and forty dollars, and it's it's one night you will definitely remember. And with Emila being there, I cannot wait to see <laughs> what production number they have in store. And to see them live on stage, because uh, we, uh, Melanie kind of talk about it a little bit, and just like you, surprise numbers, and as well as Christine. So I can't wait. I can't really wait. And it's it's six thirty. You said tomorrow at Escondido at the Grand Ritz Theater. Now uh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So exciting. Diana <laughs> said, "Le Miserable is my favorite Broadway show." I don't know if she's gonna performing some Le Miserable. We'll find out tomorrow, and hopefully, I could do some live while I'm there. And then, um, then what's it? Oh, here we go. For me, I'm actually soon to be songwriter like her. Said Diani. So first, music before create the lyrics. For example, I always watch Lo-Fi Lo-Fi Fridays with Saipan Jean. First, he creates a music. Okay, and then, oh, there's a request. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's part of your thing. It says, Amila, can you sing Endgame for me, please? Oh, I don't know. Endgame. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so this is from the <laughs> So I guess she Endgame. Knows and she said, break it down, yo. <laughs> she's literally, uh, she loves Endgame. Okay, I guess that's the, the one that I sing with, uh, with, uh, you know, with Jeanne. Oh, <laughs> so like one of our fans. She's a big fan of me and, and Jeanne and our cover. Together, but uh, you have, mentioned Josh. Uh, just yeah. for the new fo for, for the new people who actually have seen your post, would you guys are you guys ha have access to uh, your your Facebook and and to your to your Instagram just to add uh, the real the my real account? Are you able to change it so that people can uh, can follow? Yes, you? yes, we're changing okay, it. Okay, or okay, okay, yeah. So that way, so instead of the uh, email, I just put email official, and also on the post if you can edit it. Just yeah. add it in my official so people when they click it they find me because this this girl um, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know she's, she's, she's getting she's, like, she's getting this? a free publicity, right? Don't we'll fix that yeah. in a minute. Yeah, if you no, guys can do it like I during do... the interview so that way that people can like actually like yeah, see so it. In my yeah, yeah. official, not yeah, yeah. just in my yeah. love for the Facebook. No, quick question. You have yes. you have produced um uh, four CDs now? Mm -hmm. Release four uh, CDs. yes, it's been uh, yeah, exactly. So it's been uh, four. Yes, exactly. Four of them. Four, uh, Albums. Yeah, all the CDs are available at Spotify. Yes. So, so the other ones, the other three, are a little bit by more older music in my older name. So my older name it was my full name, which is Emanuela Bellezza. But the new one is under Emila with the new style. So I recommend. Well, you can listen to the older ones. Some of them are up. Some other ones are are not. But my, that should be there around there, especially on YouTube. Um, but yeah, Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere you can totally find it. The newest one is called New Freedom. And it's the, the colorful one, the one with all of the the uh, the feathers. Okay, you quickly had mentioned that the first three was released under your your real name, Emanuela. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did Emila came from? Emila, yeah. yeah. What was yeah, the so history it, behind that? The reason behind that? The so Emila, yeah. yeah. So it has a different. It has a double meaning. Um, we have a writing. Uh, meanings with the letters, and then we have another one, which is the other meaning, which is the uh, the, the the one that the, the meaning of the, the sound, based on the sound and based on what you see when you write it down. Okay, so if you see the word Emila, we're gonna start with the graphic one. Okay, so the graphic meaning. So Emila, it has a Y in the middle. So if you take my actual name, Emanuela, my real name. Uh, Emanuela, if you re if you remove the word the three letters N U and E new, and we remove the three and we add actually add the Y, Emanuela comes comes out. Yeah, so if you ask funny. why, yeah, that's new. Yeah, it's a new name. So you remove the word new and you add the Y. So that's Emanuela. Yeah, so that's my name. And if you see it also, you can also see in another meaning as Emma, E, L A, like in, in in Spanish, ELA, Los Angeles, because it ends with LA. Now, the actual other meaning, which is the um, the the audio my meaning, where I really like the speaking. So when I was little, my mom used to call me MI all the time. So MI, MI, MI. So that's why also Myla. And also, Musicians Institute is the school where I actually started here in the United States when I came. So, but Musicians Institute, when you abbreviate the two letters, that's how they abbreviate it. It's yeah. MI. 
So M I. So it's like M I L A. So everything is oh just mixed. It has all this meaning. That's so clever. Mm-hmm. That's so clever. I will yeah, never I'm... forget M I L A now. I'll see you again. I will never forget what M I L A. Oh, you never like, forget. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because the way the way you describe it from from phono- pho- uh, phonics and to mm-hmm. the, to yeah. the graphics and all that, it's hard not to forget. You know? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, that, and then I just really wanted to create something universal. You know, instead of my full name, Emanuela Bellezza, it's a little complicated to remember if you're not Italian. Yeah. And so to create more of a universal name, for example, put together like Beyonce, Shakira, Shade, there's I want one word, Emaila, and then it has meaning. So that's how it came out, and uh, I love it since then. It, it, when they came out like uh, three, four years ago, that's where I. I now, Emaila, what are your dreams? What else do you you what what else do you want to achieve professionally? Achieve we definitely just keep working on my music, keep becoming more and more better, better and better songwriter. We need also more collaboration, collaborations with all the other you know talented songwriters, and then uh, most importantly, just keep growing and get my music spread out throughout the world, throughout the years. And uh, biggest dream is I mean like a world tour, you know, world wow. tour. With the with the band, with all the the crew and everything, so that's why, like something that I wanna that I'm working on, and uh, that's the biggest dream, just to get bigger and just keep spreading the music and get get to be known by more and more people. That's just really wanna focus on uh, on getting, you know, of becoming. So. And you know what they said, dreams do come true. <laughs> So keep 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 doing what you're doing best. And you never Thank know. You, you, you yeah. know this in show business. It's uh, your time will come eventually. Especially you have so much. You have oozing with talent, and of course, incorporate with a beauty beautiful face and and the the talent. It's just like you cannot deny a very talented artist like yourself. So I think it's it's just the timing, and eventually you're gonna get the dream come true. I, I, Thank I, you. I, Honestly, I, this is already, I'm already grateful. This is already a, a dream, if I got to be honest with you, being able to uh, to live out of my career, just literally make a living out of what, I'm, what I love already, singing and just doing shows and just be paid for, you know what I mean? Like just to perform and just to be, when, and telling all this. Yeah. So that's already a dream yeah. comes true. Now I'm working on making it even bigger. And even if I'm like this, stay like this, it's great. But because... Social media is always grow. They're just growing more and more for over the years. So there's no other way. Like you keep growing. That's how it is. So no. I'm already living the dream. <laughs> no, people are asking where where can they see you aside from the show tomorrow? Do you have a schedule mm-hmm. posted on your social media? You know, actually, I, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna be posting on my website and on my all of my social medias a schedule because a lot of data coming up. Even in Las Vegas, I think the other person you is in Las Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, no, you. I'm coming to Las Vegas in a week or two, couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. So, it's yeah. a good idea to kind of like intermittently put put a schedule up because a lot of people yes, now that's after true. seeing you and hearing you not only for tomorrow but also with the show, people would like to follow mm-hmm. you and see you live. Yeah, so that's important. That be, yeah. yeah, because it will be difficult if they don't know where to find you. Because I know you do a lot of gig locally here in Southern California. Because I mm-hmm. saw some of the posts. Yeah. I said, well, you know, maybe maybe a schedule posted on your website would be mm-hmm. nice. would be Absolutely. Perfect. Yes, I'm going to definitely do that. Everyone was like, so we have a schedule. I, I need to do that. I'm going to be posting that uh, hey, don't after keep, this performance. Don't, don't keep your performances a secret. Yeah, this should not be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Let it out of the bag. Now, what yeah, are you yeah. most fearful yeah. about? Do you fear and what 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 do you what do you fear for? Or afraid of? Uh, the biggest fear is death. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest fear for me. Uh because uh sometimes I think about it almost every day. <laughs> But then I just try not to think about it or two because I mean, we all know that, you know, sooner or later we have to go through it, but maybe something beautiful after that, you know, something that we, is going to be even more beautiful than, than earth, than, than life here. Yeah. So, That's yeah, I know. I, it's pretty, I think it's pretty much everyone else's biggest fear that, that it's death. I have to admit it, it's normal. We all do <laughs> know that, but that, that is the biggest fear for me, but I'm trying to live with it because, you know, 
it's inevitable and we may live something better after. You never know. know. Exactly. You never know. Now, yeah. what makes Imaila happy? Definitely uh, doing music, dancing, and traveling. And a cup of uh, coffee with milk. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I love well, we, we should hook up one of these days and have coffee or something since we're both in LA. Yes, yes, I love coffee. Myla, so what makes you blush? Uh, yeah, when somebody tells me that I'm pretty. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you realize really you're pretty? You're a beautiful lady. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it does make me blush when somebody says that. So thank yeah, you for somebody, making me blush. A, a friend of mine who's, who's a. a a beauty consultant said, is she, is she up to, 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 to join a beauty contest? Oh, I don't even know. Are there beauty contests? I didn't know about that. <laughs> is that something you're... Where are they? Okay. Oh, Maybe they are... Is that something you would like to, to try? Yeah. Why not? Really? I could hook you up. Oh, we'll talk offline next time. After, you know, after this, we'll talk offline. You know, next okay. time that um, right after you show the Broadway show, we'll, we'll talk. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's something. It's an ex like we said, win or lose, it's the experience. It's the adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's a fun thing, you know. Yeah, see, I, I, <laughs> I got you that one, that one. Now, what <laughs> is a Myla when no one's watching? Mm -hmm. Um, Just very, like, reserved in her own world, shy. And, uh, yeah, I would say probably... Uh, in her own world, pretty much, uh, fantasizing, thinking of, uh, you know, daydreaming, uh, and all of the fantasy, fantasy world. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, are you open to do movies as well? Yes, well, I never acted, so I don't know, but I think I'm pretty good at acting, I would be pretty good at acting, because, you know, like, singing is pretty much like acting, it's the same yeah. thing, I believe, don't you think so, like, when we're singing, we're expressing a feeling, and we're just really like. And you, you are know. already in Hollywood. I mean, yeah. what better place to be in the movies than Hollywood? Mm -hmm. That's uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. That's true. I just have to see like the contacts. You have to find like I don't know how the contacts are there, but I guess well, but you, you have to do. You know, doors open should... more. The more that you <laughs> expose, as they said, yeah. everything is about exposure. Everything is yeah. about. Uh, you know collaboration and i think you mm -hmm. you are in the right mix for that and and especially for your show tomorrow at the at broadway night to remember there'll be a lot sure. of people who's gonna watch you and there'll be a lot of people would know emila because that 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 name would linger uh, and permeates after the show mm -hmm. even for this show it's, <laughs> it's so amazing so before we continue what is your next performance people are texting me is she gonna perform more i said there's one more song that she's going to perform. So I don't know yeah. what the song is. So let's cue one in that mm -hmm. one. And with what song is this in particular? And what, what was the inspiration behind it? Let's see. Well, since we have, we have one more song, uh, I, can do the, I can do that on the piano, if you like. Okay. Okay, it can be guitar or piano. I have to move you guys. So okay. let's just move. Let me just move the mic first. Okay. So once the mic is there, then I'm going to be moving the guitar. So that we will be ready. In case you want to show in the meantime, the video, else, let's, get ready. Video, let's show one of the videos uh, okay. that, that we have prepared yeah. while she's putting Perfect. the instrument together. Uh, choose any of the videos that I, I forwarded to you because we have a lot of videos on her that uh, was downloaded and uploaded to our station. So while Emila is preparing her next uh, performance and preparing all the instruments that she needs to do. I think she's gonna she's gonna play a piano for us. Let's go. 
Yeah, she's ready. And now we have her. We saw her on guitar earlier. And then, of course, uh, now we're gonna. She's gonna perform live with her piano. And as like as she mentioned earlier, she, this is the first instrument she learned. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Without much further ado, in all right. Thank you. So that's not. It's the. It's an original song, and it's called "Stay with Me." It will be sung in Italian and in English, so I can do both versions. Starting with the Italian, and then I'll be moving to the English. <laughs> Non bastasse mai il tempo e tutto quasi splendido qui vicino a te. Che sta ancora un po' insieme a me. Stai con me, non ti muda via. Stai con me. Tu sei la mia follia, stai con me, tu amore, ancora poesia, stai con me, stai con me, talk to me, I want to see your words. Say, don't you see? You're the only one who makes me feel feeling bad now. What you gonna say? You don't just stay here. I live alone. Stay with me, and I never let you go. Stay with me, and Stay with me, 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 Exactly. This was, was the finalist of the R and B Music in Media Awards for Best R and B and Soul category. Wow! Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, how <laughs> exactly. many have you written so far? I mean, do you do you keep a tab? Do you keep a number? I would say probably maybe around a hundred or more or more than a hundred songs, probably. And normally, the 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 genre, well, the it's it's ballad normally, but is it all about love? Majority. Um, uh, sometimes about love, and some other times uh, about uh, mostly about like self growth. Yeah. And uh, and that, my, yeah, most of the time I just happen to be about love, you know, and that. But yeah, I also wrote a lot about self empowering ones, like uh, it's called New Girl, New World. 
Yeah. Uh, it's a very very similar last album where it talks about like how you know like a renewal when you come out of a relationship or uh, come out of a difficult situation or another one was called um, Stop, I don't know. No, always be you. So like no matter no matter something, sorry no matter what happens in your life, you may have some loss or some illness or something that may happen really really brutal. Remember that you're always going to have yourself, and uh, no matter what. You can always reborn and grow from any situation. Wow, that's so. Great. There's also a lot of the self-help songs and uh, self-growth. Yeah. Now, if I, if you are asked what song describe your life right now, your sta- mm-hmm. where your stage at, mm-hmm. what song would it be? It could be a cover, or it could be a personal mm-hmm. uh, composition of yours. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, it was probably it's probably going to be New Girl, New World, uh, because it's uh, it's still a process of renewal and just. Becoming a beautiful butterfly, colorful butterfly is strong. Uh, I was probably to say, "New girl, new world." Yeah, mm-hmm. it's still in the process of uh, mutating and that's, growing. That's, that, that this particular song you just described would be on your YouTube channel. Absolutely, uh, that one I still haven't done a music video for that one, but it's on Spotify and Apple Music. So, you guys, if you want to hear this this wonderful song that she just mentioned that describes her uh, music at this point in her life right now. You could download it or listen it through Spotify. Okay, before, because I promise you, I'm not going to keep you late because um, I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, it's okay. I think I'm going to You know, okay. I, don't want you Carlos to... To be, I don't want Carlos to be on my tail. <laughs> like, you know, my, my artist cannot sing because you kept her you kept her so long on your show. So, um, is there... No, it's is, okay. Okay, is there one more song you could do for us? that uh, mm-hmm. Because... Uh, uh, Danica was was saying mm-hmm. end game. End game. Uh, I wanna be your end game. <laughs> okay, I have to bring. Need to bring the microphone back. But in That's the meantime, fine. That's fine because we have one more video. We have one more video to show that when you were teaching Perfect. people okay. how to play ukulele. <laughs> oh yeah, the ukulele video. I love it. Okay, give me one second. Let me go. Okay, yo, let's show the how how she she was teaching people how to play your ukulele for her last song. The most requested song of all times, Despacito. With the ukulele. Don't forget that at the end of this video, you're going to find my cover of this song. So whenever you guys are ready to play, you can play along with me. Also, if you're just starting and you don't know the basics of the ukulele yet, don't worry. There is a video that I made just for you. Just click on the link in the description below and it will take you to that video. So once you're ready to play, you can go back here and play the song with me. Let's start. The first chord is a B minor chord and it sounds like this. To play a B minor chord, all you need to do is press with your pointer the first three strings on the second fret, making a barre. And then, with your ring finger, press the fourth string on the fourth fret. And here we have our B minor chord. The next chord is a G major chord, and it sounds like this. To play a G major chord, you need to press with your middle finger the first string on the second fret. Then, with your pointer, the third string on the second fret. And then, with your ring finger, press the second string on the third fret, like this, while the fourth string remains open. And here we have our G major chord. The next chord is a D major chord and it sounds like this. To play a D major chord, all you need to do is press with your pointer the fourth string on the second fret. Then with your middle finger, the third string on the second fret. And then with your ring finger, the second string on the second fret. While the first string remains open. And here we have our D major chord. And now the very last chord, which is A major. And here it is. To play A major chord, all you need to do is press with your pointer, the third string on the first fret. And then, with your middle finger, the fourth string on the second fret, while the first and the second strings remain open. And here we have our A major chord. And now, let's go to the rhythm. The rhythm is very simple. 
All you need to do is tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up. If we want to play the chords and the rhythm all together, this is how it sounds like. And then with the vocals, we sound like this. Are you guys ready to play with me? Click on the link at the very end of this video or the link in the description and it will take you to my cover of the song so that we can play finally together. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with all of your friends and of course, subscribe to my channel. Remember, practice to make it perfect but don't forget to always have fun. Alright you guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. It lives in the All right, I'm gonna do a little piece of it, just a little piece because uh, I might uh, play the or other original maybe after this. I don't know, we'll see. And I haven't been playing this song actually. I never really played it. I'm just gonna improvise it because when we do it with, with that cover, it was a beatbox, so I didn't yeah. even play the guitar. So let's try that. Let's see. <clears throat> I wanna be in the game. I wanna be your first rate. I wanna be your 18. I wanna be your end game, end game. Big repetition, big repetition. Ooh, you and me, we got big repetition. I, and I heard about me, oh. You got a big enemies, big repetition. Big repetition, oh, you and me got the conversation. I and I heard about you, oh, you like the I wanna be in the game. I wanna be for straight. I wanna be your NT. I wanna be your end game, end game. Yeah, I just did a mini version because I never played this song like with the guitar that much. Wow. <laughs> but it's fun. I like it. Yay. Now, Imaila, quick, uh, this will be my last mm -hmm. question because I will yeah. be to my promise. I will not hold you because I, I would love to see your performance tomorrow at the Broadway Night to Remember Returns. And definitely this is not the be the last one that I will be seeing you. And I know if you have any mm -hmm. projects or any upcoming, please do, do Call me and, and text me and we'll guess you again, especially when you yes. release this album. Uh, the, the station and this show is definitely always open for you. Uh, yeah. I'd like to thank you as well for being so gracious with your time, especially with a performance tomorrow, a big performance oh. tomorrow. So it's, it's, okay. it's exciting to see you live in person as well as to see you perform on stage live. This is an, a Broadway night to remember tomorrow at Escondido at 6.30. And it's brought to you by CM Production of Carlos Mangonon. Okay, and um, so my last question for today, how do you want to, rem to be remembered, Emila? Definitely want to be remembered for my music, for my art, for my personality, for the message that I, I'd like to give the world to help people. And the fact that I helped so many people and... Uh, someone even told me a few of my friends of my friends said that prevented from being from uh, suicidal, like they, they uh, so they really helped them with their lives. And some other people actually have them fall in love too, like somebody like you know, now they're married. Like so, that's beautiful to know that, and uh, definitely be remembered for my music and my dance and my 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 personality and uh, all the things that I, I can offer to this world and live. Leave a sign to this world. Leave something that people can, can, can take with them, and uh, and grow, and uh, and just add something to their lives. That's so beautiful. Now, if somebody would like to um, engage you for a gig, for a show, who how are they gonna contact you? Is it through your social media? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so they can definitely find me on Facebook, on Instagram. On YouTube, they can find me on the email. On my Facebook, there is my email. Sorry, on my Instagram. Now, my Facebook, if you guys go, do like that. You, you feel free to 
like the page on Facebook at the moment is hacked. Uh, you can still follow that page because Facebook is working on giving it back to me. Uh, so the last post you see is just a post where I'm at a gym post on, in October 2022 because the hacker erased so much of my content, which is very sad. So I have to re-upload it when I get the page back. But that uh, don't refrain, shouldn't refrain you guys to still follow that page on Facebook because I'm getting it back. So you can go follow it. Once I get it back, maybe in, in a week or two, I'm going to keep putting more stuff on it. Wow. You know, and also on Instagram and all. So Okay. Now, yeah. uh, and the very, very last is, how do you finish this question or this this statement? Emila mm -hmm. is... Wow, it's a, uh, uh, let me just put my guitar on the side. So I <laughs> can um, focus. Emila is, oh my gosh. I would say an artist because art, I create art every day. Either the uh, music or, or dance or with the, like drawing and painting. I'm also drawing paint. I like to draw and paint people. I would say Emila is art. Emila is, uh, is an artist. That's beautiful. I don't know. It's pretty. I know that's simple, but I don't know what else. No, it's it's how to ask the side to define myself. Uh, it, it could be anything else, but Amala is art, or Amala is art. Art is an artist. Amazing, amazing night, amazing show, uh, Amala. Thank you. thank you, thank you again for um for giving us this time. I can't wait to see you and meet you personally and to thank you, but I am gonna be definitely there front center tomorrow and I will try to be there earlier so I could meet you backstage because you are really one of those that I'm so amazed not only of your beauty but you definitely your amazing talent and being so multifaceted multi-instrumentalist it's like what else can this young lady cannot do and I'm more than willing to hopefully uh, see you on on a Broadway stage someday, or or, or uh, winning a Grammy. You never know. Life life can throw you so many wonderful things that you could ever ever imagine. And I think that uh, you will be so blessed with your talent and for being so generous. And and for the Christian world, we're gonna play "Pinagpalang Kamay ng Dios," and that would be. Uh, in observance of the Good Friday for a Christian and Catholic, and that's how we're going to end this uh, for um, for this particular edition of the show. But uh, again, for those people who would like to see Emila tomorrow's performance, you could definitely still buy tickets uh, at the uh, the uh, Grand Ritz at Escondido, California. The start it start the show starts or the show's title is a Broadway uh, Broadway Night to Remember returns in, and it starts promptly at six thirty tomorrow. So you could just uh, look it up, and of course uh, we already covered that. And Emila will be one of the featured artists. That's why she said it's going to be a surprise on how many numbers and the production number she's going to do. So. Again, uh, happy good, well, not happy, but it's Good Friday for the Christian and Catholic world. And like what I said before, before I end any show, be good and be kind. You can never go wrong with kindness. And any act of kindness that you do to people, it will come back to you in so many ways, in different times and different forms. And with that, a Good Friday uh, to, to our Christian world and our Catholic and we're going to show you Pinagpalang Kamay ng Dios. It's in Tagalog and it was written, composed, and, and it will be performed by a, a priest, Father um, Father M, FM, and it was composed by Marita Mendoza. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play that to you and that will be our closing. So I'll see you tomorrow for my other show, Dear Kuya Josh, and we have a live show tomorrow as well. And with that, Emila, thank you so much for your time and for, for giving you. us and sharing your God-given talent and the, the, the gift of voice. Thank you. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for tomorrow's show. I can't wait to meet you. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the video. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. And good night. I beat the 10.30. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good job. Woo. <laughs> thank you. I'll see you. And you have a wonderful rest. And I'll see you tomorrow at the performance. And I will definitely try to stick in at the backstage so but definitely this will not be the last of your guesting okay anytime you have time we could do part two and we could do and we could cover your painting talent this time and plus your singing
you will listen to any other version of this, please do uh, remember that our show in this way is more than welcome to accommodate any time. Here we go. You take care. Bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. It's being shown right now. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Ah uh-huh.